So the game's just finished and um, <clears throat> it's finished Manchester City 4, uh, our team Wolves 1. Um, what can you say about that really? I mean, Man City are just, uh, they're just on fire at the moment. That, that's like 21 games consecutively uh, won in all competitions. They're, they're still in the Champions League, they're in the League Cup final, they're still in the FA Cup, they're running away with the Premier League. And they're just a magnificent side. And um, do you know what? It was kind of like men against boys tonight, you know, on the whole. But I thought we did OK despite the scoreline. The scoreline at the end probably does reflect um, the balance of play. You know, they probably deserve to have won by three goals overall. But they scored two of them uh, in added time. Up until about 10 minutes ago, it was 1-1 as well, wasn't it? I mean, let's just rewind back onto the game. Uh, the first half, we were just not in it at all. We couldn't get we couldn't get it out of our own half. They scored. It was just a matter of time. Had a goal right at the end of the first half disallowed. Rui Patricio has made a series of good saves in the first half and in the second half. But we got in at one 0 at half time, and I was saying, you know, funny that football's a funny old game. You can have all the possession and shots and thing, but you don't score. And you know. They continued in the same way. Patricio made another great save, um, a couple of great saves in the second half. And then we get a free kick. Captain Connor Cody, Captain Fantastic, his determination to get on the end of it. Ruin Diaz actually plays him on side. Uh, he gets his head on it and it's in the goals. One all. And at one all for 10 minutes, I'll tell you what, City were rattled and we had a couple of chances. Triori had that one chance that just literally whisked over the bar and you know at that point we we had our moment that moment passed and um you know they they got down the side of us so many times i thought hoover struggled massively in the first half i thought he got better in the second half um i thought we did better when fabio silva came on you know he did give us another thing up front yeah he didn't get a, a look and we had literally i think one shot on target all night and that was the conor Godi goal they've had like 22 shots 10 on target we've had something like five shots and, and one on target but when you look at it on the balance of play obviously they, they deserve it they're an amazing side and um i just otter Soe comes on there's a lot of people been calling out for otter Soe to come on and play he comes on late and i feel sorry for the young man because he's made an absolute mess um got his feet tangled up and then the third goals come from that. And then they've got a fourth not long after that as well. And it's made it look really bad, the scoreline, 4-1. Although probably it's a reflection on the, on the play. But 2-1 going into added time, that would have been respectable. Um, what can you say? The positives you take out of it, they're stuck at the task. Samedo for the second goal, um, for their second goal. So frustrating. You look at the line and then he's about two yards back. And he's played him on side. Um, and he can look along the line. He can see everyone else. If he steps up, that goal's offside. It doesn't happen. It's still 1-1. And who knows what happens after that. Maybe we get another chance. We nick it. You never know. Uh, you've got to look on the positives. Um, overall, performance-wise, I think the best you can give it is six for effort. Um, you know, and man of the match, even though it's four, probably Rui Patricio. Uh, but obviously fantastic for Conor Cody getting his Wolves goal. I mean, the odds on Ruben Neves scoring a headed goal and then Conor Cody scoring in the, the next game, I wonder what the odds would have been on that. But, you know, fair play to Manchester City. I had a couple of City fans on my watch along. They've come on and were really class in their comments. Um, you know, there's some Wolves fans that were came on and said, you know, disgraceful, embarrassed and stuff like that. Uh, you know... We've got extra time tomorrow night, uh, me and Amy. It's going to be have to be tomorrow night because they're uh, so late tonight and work and, and stuff like that. So um, that's quarter to seven. If you want to get on that tonight, we're going to look tomorrow night. We're going to look ahead to the Villa game as well. Drop me a message on the Always Wolves Facebook page. Uh, just search Always Wolves, like the page, send a message, uh, get in touch with us and that, or drop us a message on Instagram. We'll get you on to talk about the game, analyse it, your thoughts, however you feel, we'll get you on for that as well. But as I say, fair play to Manchester City tonight and, um, you know, we'll just move on. We've got a bigger game at the weekend, really. Us against Villa, let's hope we can get the bragging rights in that. 
Till the next one, I'm Dazzling Dave, always wolves.